Right now at 5.30, the need for space at cemeteries is leading to anguish for the growing Muslim community in our area. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back. I'm Christine Johnson. In the Muslim religion, Muslims should be buried in a cemetery with those who share their faith. And this is similar to how Catholic and Jewish cemeteries are operated. But as the Muslim population in our area increases, more space is needed. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports there's no room left at the cemeteries and the community feels hurt and anxious. It is a dire situation because you know that there is no more room left. Nayar Imam, president of the Muslim Alliance of Long Island, says his community is growing desperate. There are no Muslim cemeteries in New York City, and the only one on Long Island with a Muslim section, Washington Memorial in Mount Sinai, is full. And it's very difficult to find a place. We had a meeting with the Board of Cemetery in Albany. He discovered in the last century regulations and zoning laws have mostly prevented new cemeteries being built in the state. So in the Muslim tradition, when an individual dies, uh, the burial has to be ASAP. Dr. Isma Chowdhury of the Islamic Center of Long Island says for 10 years they've been trying to secure land. We do understand that land is precious, especially for this need, but rituals of dying and rituals of burial, that's very precious as well. Bodies washed in a special ritual, wrapped in a white shroud, and quickly buried in a simple wooden coffin. The person's face looking toward the Islamic holy city of Mecca, Saudi Arabia. The several thousand plots here on Long Island reserved for Muslims are nearly gone, leaving many with the difficult option of burying their loved ones in New Jersey, which has two all-Muslim cemeteries. We shouldn't be going to New Jersey and, and not be able to celebrate the death. You have people calling and they're desperate. The costs have gone up dramatically. Ahmad Sheikh, a Plainview community leader, says Long Island's home to 100,000 Muslims and growing. The graveyard has uh, filled up much quicker than than anyone anticipated. 20 acres are needed for a standalone Muslim cemetery. This is something which needs to be respected as a priority. Issues of the living affecting traditions of the dying. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News. And Muslim leaders have additional meetings planned with county officials. They're proposing a cemetery in Brookhaven or Riverhead towns.